thank you so much and great to be in such great company with everybody. Um, we are Hestia, Retrofit Made Easy. Mission and purpose of our business is to make every home in Britain sustainable. And we mean financially, environmentally, uh, and in terms of comfort, health, and well-being. I'm Anna, CEO and co-founder. I'm joined on the call by my colleague, Kaleem, who's our CTO. And our third musketeer who isn't with us today is Chennai Gondo, a COO. Um, very, very delighted to be with this group and, and pleased to be working with this community. We all know retrofit is an urgent need in this country. We have 19 million homes that are below EPCC, 3 million of those in social housing. Um, but we're still struggling, of course, to meet that need, right? And a big part of that is that the market is challenging for housing associations to access, you know, to get good independent advice and to be able to go to, you know, single point of contact on retrofit that provides an affordable value add service. And that's what we aim to do, a true one-stop shop. What does that actually mean? Because it's an easy phrase to use, but what do we actually do for people? Um, one, we start non-invasive. We do portfolio-wide scoping. That's based on a proprietary model that we've built. We've incorporated, working with Kaleem, 2.3 billion data points and counting. We're not just ripping the EPCs, but building our own bespoke data sets around cost, valuation, impact, and works packages. Today, we have about 96% accuracy in predicting post-retrofit performance on the home. And that's both energy consumption, CO2 emissions based off of that, as well as accuracy in the estimates on cost and valuation improvement. Of course, it's not enough to just do the software step, right? It's helpful to get your arms around what should I be doing across my stock, but then you need to actually put insulation into walls. And it's critically important to us that we're able to provide a true turnkey service for social housing. So we do the retrofit assessments on site. Um, we have our own team of retrofit assessors and retrofit coordinators um, who do all of the works on site and produce a works ready order that can go to the installer. And then we do the end-to-end -end coordination and project management. Um, we can recommend installers that we like. We don't get paid based on a kickback from the installer, um, or we can work directly with your property management team. For us, it's key that we're able to give independent advice that isn't linked to the economics of the installer so that you can really evaluate, should I put in a heat pump now or later? Should I be putting in solar PV um, without feeling that, you know, you're our recommendation is, is guided by the size of the checkbook at the end. We get paid based on performance on EPC upgrades. Um, today, through the businesses that are in the group, we do about 8,000 units, and that's a combination of um, energy company obligation work fully funded by the Energy Co's. You as the Housing Association don't pay anything for it. We manage the grant applications end to end and SHDF and other programs, which you will all be familiar with. We also are doing more and more privately funded community work, and that's coming through a couple of sources. We've recently completed a scheme in Northern Ireland, which was a retrofit carbon credit offset program funded through a hedge fund. Um, we're working with um, private real estate asset owners as well, and with some of the mortgage lenders and the banks. So we have our own panel of lenders who can do bridging loans, debt-like instruments for housing associations that are already fairly levered up, um, and more traditional loan instruments for those who are looking for that, um, and are able to provide referrals to, to those customers, or to those suppliers, I should say. Um, what do we think makes us special? Because obviously plenty of people are working in the retrofit space. A few things. First, that we're a true one-stop shop. Yes, we do a bit of clever modeling, but also we do the work itself. And that we're combining software and services, therefore. We're also in the thick of it with you, coordinating financing and the supply chain. We take on the delivery risk and we combine tech with strong technical execution on the ground and a very experienced team of 40 retrofit assessors and coordinators across the country. We cover UK wide, we have hubs in Birmingham, Preston and London, um, and we're not afraid to do projects far afield. We just wrapped up a piece of work in the Isle of Wight. I'll tell you a little bit more about our tech tool and any other questions on it 
Um, Kaleem is also very happy to answer. As we say, we start non-invasive. We've built a model that combines 2.3 billion data points. Of course, we draw on the EPC registry, but actually our engine is our own modeling based on U values. It's important to us that we're able to be accurate in estimating the energy consumption impact. We also then combine our own cost database that we've built through pulling the spec sheets from materials producers, as well as from contractors on the labor side. So we can give you much more accurate costing advice um, than you know, what you would have, for example, in the EPC. And then we've pulled in as well, benchmarks on valuation improvement, uh, as well as um, views on building regs, which are not available in the EPCs, but allow us to make recommendations around damp and mold remediation and things like this as well. Um, we, of course, then also work with PAS 2030, PAS 2035 qualified assessors and coordinators, as I say, a team of about 40 around the country, so we can provide truly national coverage. And then we can link you up with installers that we trust, or if you have your own team, very happy for you to work with them. Either way is fine. If you are compelled by any of what we've spoken through, drop me an email. I'm Anna at Hestia.homes. We would be delighted to start with a free, no obligation pilot, send us a sample set of some of your properties. We can show you a bit what we see looking outside in. Uh, and then if you are not currently using Eco4, we can also look at that very easily together. As I say, it's paid for by the Energy Co. So the Housing Association and the tenant don't put their hands in their wallet at any stage. We manage that end to end um, and we can refer you to our trusted installers for that work as well. I will pause the monologue there for any questions, friends. That's brilliant, Anna, thank you. Um, so I'll kick off the questions to start off with. What, on the time frame from the sort of the one-stop shop, how, well, how long either for the whole thing or for the parts of it? How does what, how long does it take you to be able to get, to get set up? Yeah, perfect. So um, modeling, you send us the addresses we'd like to have. We do it fairly instantaneously. And then we like to do a quick cleanse through just to be sure. So that takes us, you know, call it a week with buffer time, um, but really it's instantaneous through the model that we built. Then to do the assessments, you know, it's about 30 to 45 minutes um, per property. We can get through um, a decent whack in a week. We have a fairly large team. We can be on site in fairly short order. So the assessment stage itself will typically take one to two weeks maybe a bit longer if you have a lot of stock, depends how many units you want us to do, but we'll take care also of the tenant comms. So typically the way that we work when we're doing the assessments is we'll send out a letter with housing association or local authority letterhead on it, obviously assuming your permission and you know our logo. Then somebody goes on site in uniform with an ID, knocks on the door, explains what they're doing. I'll be here all week. We are doing assessments. Is there a time that's convenient for you? We sort all of that. Um, and then we pass that across to the installer. And typically, as folks will know, you know the works are not enormously complicated for um, homes that need just fabric interventions. So you're looking at a works package that's about a week or so. Once we start looking at solar PV or heat pumps, obviously they become lar larger programs, but that's a long way of saying initial step of assessment only, we can do inside of a week instantaneously, there's no late time. The assessments on site, about half an hour per unit, and depending how much stock you have, right, we'll batch them, but we can deploy very quickly. That's our staff, so we can be quite fast there. And then for the installer's work, depends on the work package, but we typically target one to two weeks max of work package, and we try to cherry pick measures that don't require the tenant to decant. Obviously, we need to look at it in the context of your existing maintenance program. So we look at where you're already expecting void periods. Um, and from a cost perspective, what, how much do you charge? I mean, I assume there's a charge overall for the end to end, but for the, for the surveys as well? Yeah. So if you go with us on the surveys, we won't charge you anything on the stock assessment. Um, that then just becomes, we put it as a credit. If you don't proceed with us on the surveys, then we charge you effectively our cost for doing kind of a consultancy fee on the stock assessment. Then on the surveys themselves, um, we peg to um, 
uh, for SHDF, it'll be a, you know, a couple hundred pounds. For ECO4, you won't part with anything on any of that um, because that gets charged directly to the energy company and to the installer. Um, and so you won't actually see a charge there at all. And then in terms of the works packages themselves, typically what we would expect is, and again, how long is a piece of string in construction? But if you were going from a high E or a low D to you know, an EPCC, that might be a three to 5,000 pound project per unit, probably a bit of cavity and loft insulation and some draft proofing. If you were doing more substantial works on an EPC F or G rated unit to try to take it up to a B or even a C, that might be a 10, 15,000 pound project. Um, what we try to do is come up with our own cost estimate for you outside in so that then we can help you evaluate if you're getting good value for money from the installers and we can help you on navigating the quotes.